this was going to be Donald Trump, Alvin Bragg, Stormy Daniels, the porn star, and is there going to be an indictment, a conviction, what's going to happen in um, the Manhattan District uh, Attorney's Office. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Oh, it's all heating up now. So lots of people being called into the grand jury in the in Alvin Bragg's, uh, the Manhattan District Attorney's uh, case against uh, Donald Trump for campaign finance fraud in the way that he paid Stormy Daniels through Michael Cohen and then reimbursed him and went all to improve his image so that he wouldn't look guilty as he ran for president in 2016. So that's what this will be about. We're going to talk about Stormy, Donnie, and Alvin. Okay, here we go. This is going to be um, Donald Trump, Stormy Daniels, Alvin Bragg, the prosecutor. And is anything going to come of all that? That's what I want to know. So it's a messy case. Um, Stormy Daniels' lawyer uh, actually ended up in uh, prison for stealing money from her and I think other clients. And um, then Alvin Bragg, as the prosecutor, uh, when he took over from the previous prosecutor in Manhattan who retired, uh, that guy's uh, two lead uh, attorneys filed, uh, uh, they actually leaked a letter uh, explaining how disturbed they were that Alvin Bragg wasn't going to prosecute. And now, since uh, there's been a minor win in another case, a civil case against Trump, uh, Alvin Bragg has seemed to uh, show a little more interest in prosecuting him in this uh, finance uh, campaign finance fraud situation where he paid um, Stormy Daniels apparently $130,000 through Michael Cohen who Michael used his own personal funds to do that and then he was reimbursed from Trump's um, company maybe Trump himself uh, in I think $30,000 installments and then he showed up with the cash checks and uh, and now it looks like Alvin Bragg the Manhattan District Attorney is going to uh, present all of this to a grand jury to see if they're going to recommend the indictment, I suppose. So that's what we're going to read on. Um, before we do any of that, though, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. So... Here we go. Alvin Bragg. Is there going to be... Well, let's uh, do this first. Let's see. Did Stormy Daniels actually have sex with Donald? And uh, and was she paid to for her story to, uh, to stay quiet? Three cards. One. Two, three. Let's see how that goes. Okay. First card. All right. This is El Diablo. This is the devil. So, yeah, this is being tied to lesser intentions. So, this is looking like a big yes. The devil card. Next card. Did she have sex with Donald? Was she paid to keep it quiet? This is Justice showing up right in the middle here. Lady Justice. And the last card is the Ace of Cups, a great big offer of compassion. So, yeah, this, this all seems to indicate that, yes, this is the truth. Did she have sex with Donald? Was she paid to, um, to keep it quiet? Well, the first card up is the Devil card being tied to lesser intention. The next card up is the Justice card indicating that justice is headed this way. And the third cup is this great big Ace of Cups, an Ace of Compassion, of Emotion. Could be the uh, emotion of the moment. Uh, that that was happening or this or the way the jury's going to feel about um, all this whole situation with Stormy Daniels. So 
Yeah, that looks not good for uh, Donnie. Next three cards, did Donald actually pay Stormy Daniels through Michael Cohen to keep all this quiet? Three cards for that. Okay. One, two, three. Did Donald pay Stormy? From Michael. First card. Okay, this is the Queen of Cups. Hmm, so the Queen is uh, very far up in the deck. It's just the King is the next strongest card in that deck. Cups are compassion, emotion. Let's see how this plays in. Donald Pay Stormy. This is the Hermit. So this is the fellow who is making a, um, a concerted effort to really study the path ahead before he does anything else. And the last card is the Lover's card. So, and this is the Major Arcana. So yeah, this uh, clarifies that, uh, that, yeah, they were, the Queen of Cups is Stormy Daniels, the Queen of Compassion and Emotion. You know, she's the sex symbol. The uh, Lover's card shows where they were together. And the Hermit card shows, you know, the, the careful thought that went into uh, paying uh, that uh, money and uh, so I don't know it's kind of a roundabout answer but I'm gonna say yeah this is indicating that that this took place and it was carefully thought about how to pay pay her off now three cards for Alvin Bragg the Manhattan District Attorney just to see if he will end up indicting putting Trump on trial for this three cards for Alvin Bragg is he gonna end up indicting Trump Putting him on trial for this issue. Three cards. One, two, and three. Alvin Bragg, District Attorney Manhattan. Are you gonna indict, are you gonna put Trump on trial? Wow, 10 of swords. This is the end of a cycle. So it's pretty ominous it would make you think that, yeah, there's going to be some guilt here. It's the end of a cycle, so it could also mean that it's the end of the investigation. It won't go forward. Um, but let's see what the next cards are. Uh, this is the Five of Cups. And uh, the Five of Cups is typically uh, having uh, three cups of emotion spilt over and just a couple cups left to continue on with. And this is a very startled card. So this looks like someone who's in trouble and is worried about what's going to happen to them. And the last card is the Five of Swords, which is uh, an abuse of power. So yeah, this looks like this is leaning towards that's what's going to happen. The good times are over for Donald. Uh, this is going to be a shock, and uh, the abuse of power has been revealed here. So now let's do six cards, Dyadic Cross, just to see uh, what the cards can tell us about the Stormy, Donald, Alvin Bragg situation. What can the cards tell us about all of this? What kind of story will they lay out? Six cards. One, two, three. And if you like these cards, um, pay attention towards the end of the video because I'll tell you uh, more about them. They're pretty uh, interesting cards. It's Klimt uh, Tarot. And they're very sexually charged, as a matter of fact. So, first card, what can you tell us about the Stormy Daniels and the Donald Trump and Alvin Bragg saga? First thing we get is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is um, wondering if you've done enough. So, um, this uh, here are all the Pentacles here. Pentacles, money or value. And uh, this, to me, indicates the worry uh, of Donald and worrying whether he's done enough to cover this thing up and to survive it. The challenge to that is this Queen of Cups is Stormy Daniels. She's determined to get justice in this. The base of this whole thing is the Moon card, which are secrets being revealed. So the basis of the whole thing are all the secrets uh, coming out. And the past of this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is the Knight fighting for his value. This is Trump. 
Okay, and he's not a king, he's not a queen, he's been reduced to a knight, and he's a strong fighter. But this, and the knight is going to fight for every bit of value that he's been given the charge to fight for. So this is Donald Trump in the past. In the sky of this is the devil card, again being tied to lesser intention. So the devil card is what guides this whole scenario. So this lusty, um, uh, cheating, um, ugly situation. Is, is the best you could hope for is to reveal all of that. And the likely outcome of this with this Four of Wands are smallish celebrations on towards something larger. Smallish celebrations on towards something larger. Um, I'm going to say that uh, there will be some justice in this. I'm going to do four more cards just to see if something clearer comes out of this. What else can the cards tell us about the situation with Donald, Stormy, and Alvin Bragg? The very self of that question is this Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is um, walking away from something of emotional importance to you. I don't want to say this is Alvin Bragg, but he is the first thing that comes to mind, walking away from something that's important to you. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of this Knight of Swords, uh, truth and justice. The hopes and the fears for this are this Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is endless arguing, pointless uh, bickering. And the likely outcome for all of this is the death card. Okay, the end of a cycle. So that's Donald Trump being convicted. So let's read it all again. Just what is the story? The story is this uh, Seven of Pentacles, wondering if enough was done. Uh, and I wonder if this isn't Stormy still. I actually wonder if she did enough to get this uh, done. And the challenge of it is Stormy herself. The, uh, her probably, like her believability. The basis of this whole thing are the secrets being revealed, and then the past of it is Donald fighting for his value. The sky of this thing is the, the devil card, so tied to lesser intention is what it's all about. And then the uh, likely uh, outcome for the first part of this is small victories on towards something larger. So this could be, this could be a, a, a victory of this indictment against Trump towards something larger. The uh, next card for this, the very self of that question, this Eight of Cups, is walking away from something of value. I wonder if this is Stormy walking away from her emotions, just having to protect herself from all of this, or is this Donald walking away from his his uh, fortune and uh, or his reputation, which he probably thinks is good, but it's in the, in the environment of this King of Swords, the King of Justice truth, justice, rules, and law. The hopes and the fears for this, with this five of wands, is all of the endless arguing that's going to happen over this, but then the final outcome is the death card, and I think that means conviction of Donald in this case. That's what I think. Well, that's the scoop. We're going to have to see how it plays out. They're all being called in now to testify, so we'll see what happens. But what you can determine what happens by telling me what you want me to read on, and I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show so you. So the these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt tarot and some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for these are by Los Carabillo and uh, these cards are really amazing they give you a perfect uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous um, the cards uh, are amazing I'll show you in a second the instruction booklet isn't really much um, it's just a, a, some good information about Clint really several pages on him and then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics and it's in several different languages so that's useful to lots of folks I suppose the containers nothing to speak of except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around and the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in, in four different languages. So like, these are wands. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes 
So, uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards, or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting, and they're and uh, if you go to Austria, you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now. <laughs>